Hey everyone, welcome to the Jimmy on the Move channel. I am Jimmy. I hope everybody's doing good and staying safe and practicing social distancing. We all want to do that. We want to help curb this thing that's going around hurting people. Thanks for taking some of your free time to come watch our video. Please take a minute, consider subscribing. Hit that like button and the post notifications, all that good stuff. It helps support our channel. We appreciate that support. In today's video, we're going to cover some very important RV maintenance. Sorry guys if there's some any wind noise. We are kind of on the dock. We've got some wind passing us. So hopefully it's not bothering you too much. But we're going to tackle some very important, probably arguably the most important piece of maintenance you can do to your, your rig, and that is your roof. Most of the RVs today have the TP, what is that, the EPDM roofs, the rubber roofs. There's a couple different kinds, but either way, what we're going to show you today, we'll cover both of those kinds. You really got to take care of those every three to four months, getting up there, washing them, checking all your seals around all your vents and stuff, and also treating them with a UV protectant. So today we're going to show you how to do that. It's four simple steps, and we're going to show you those steps and the stuff you're going to need to do those steps. So with that being said, let's go over there. I'll show you what we're going to need for this. All right, guys, step one of our uh, project today is blowing off the roof, your initial blow off, or you could sweep it off. We chose to, we choose to blow it off. It's a little easier. You don't have to, you know, work so hard, really. It is hot out here. So we got to get all the little things off the roof that might have fell on it. We, at this RV resort we're at, we're under, partially under an oak tree with the Spanish moss. So a lot of stuff kind of falls on there. It even falls on the truck and everything. It is the springtime. So... You want to get up there and blow that off. What we use is the DeWalt little job site blower. It's small, portable, fits in any little cubby on your, takes the DeWalt battery. So this is what we use. It works really good. Um, we recommend something like this. There's many brands that have something like that. Ryobi, DeWalt, Milwaukee, they all have something. So that'll be step one. We got to get up there and do that. So this is what you're gonna need for step one. Now let's check out what we need for step two. All right, guys, step two is cleaning the roof of your RV. You're going to need a few things for this job. First, you're going to need a hose. This is our collapsible hose. It's 50 foot. This one happens to be a zero G. It takes up a little bit of space. We just put it in a mesh bag, but this works great. We got to rinse off the roof after we blew it off to get it wet and rinse off any extra stuff. We got a little, just a little like fire hose nozzle. This works awesome. If you're interested in any of this stuff, we'll leave links down below. You can check it out if you want. Second thing you're going to need is a good roof cleaner. We use the Dicor products, rubber roof cleaner. This works for all the kinds of rubber roofs, so this will work great for you. We're not sponsored or anything, but it is a good product. It works really well. Then to apply that, you're going to want a soft bristle brush on an extendable handle. That way you can do this job standing up. It's really, it makes it really easy. And you do this in like a four foot by four foot section, working your way back towards your ladder. That's what we're going to do. We'll share that when we get up there. And if you if you don't have an extendable brush, that's okay. You can do it on your hands and knees, but I do recommend a, a rubber mat to put your knees on because your knees will start hurting at the end of this. And then uh, there, we don't have the other one here, but you want you might want a spray bottle so you can spray the solution on the roof. Spray the solution on the roof, brush it with this, rinse it off with your hose, go to your next section. That's step two. That is, step two is probably the, the most time consuming part, the hardest part, if you will, but it's not, none of it's really hard, but. All right, let's see what we need for step three. All righty, for step three, step three is applying the UV protectant on your roof. After you cleaned your roof and it dried off, you're gonna have to apply this protectant. There's many on the market. You can go with Dicor's kind if you like. Uh, we choose the 303 protectant. This stuff works really great. It is by no means cheap. I think this was like $56 a gallon or something, but it goes quite a long way. Um, we also use it on our tonneau cover for our truck. It works on the awnings for your RV. So it works on many things. Uh, and you put it in a little application bottle. This is the same thing we were saying for your cleaner. But you put it in this application bottle, you just squirt it down on the roof, and then you wipe it off with, with a good quality microfiber towel. We buy them by the 50 in a pack. They're cheap. Uh, to apply that, you can do that one of two ways. You can, again, get on your hands and knees, spray it on there, then wipe it off with your towel. Or like we do, we take our we take our soft bristle brush and we tie this to it like this. Then we spray it on the roof and just rub it standing up. As you can see like that, that works. I'm telling you, it'll save your back. You'll love it. And that, that works that, it works perfect. So final step is 
checking your roof for all the seals and stuff or any of your vents and stuff make sure there's no cracking or splitting there's parts where you need to fix it and for that you're gonna there's a couple products you're gonna use for that let's go get those and show you what those are okay guys and last but not least for step number four like we said you're gonna want to check all your seals and stuff around and all your uh your seals and your edges your drains all that and make sure all your silicone is proper no splits and stuff um if there is we have lap sealant this is what we use on the roof it's self-leveling so you put these around all your vents that has problems or any problems you might find in your rv roof you put this on here it levels itself it, it, this stuff works great again it's dicor products same as the cleaner we love this stuff again not a sponsor but it's a good product worth mentioning and also we use the non-leveling no sag sealant for anything below the roof like windows and doors around vents on the side of your rv stuff works great so you'll need a uh, of course a silicone gun for that you can use a powered one if you got it which we have it we love that thing and y'all can also use the manual one but that's all you got that's all you need guys like again anything in this video we'll leave links in the description stuff works great if you've got any questions about other products that we might have tried or you know we can help you out give us a shout down in the comment section all right with all that being said let's get up there and start this job All right, guys, we are up here on the roof. We got our blower. We're ready to blow this off. As you can see that tree we were talking about behind us, that's the one that drops stuff all over this roof. You'll see the difference from the back to the front. The back looks kind of nasty because everything that falls off, it does provide nice shade though. So keep that in mind when you're picking your RV spots. If you have a choice, if you don't want to get up there so much blowing it off, pick one without a tree or one that doesn't drop stuff off the tree, but it's up to you. So let's get this started, start blowing this off. Hey guys, okay, the, the second step is, is cleaning the roof. Now, after we got it all blown off, everything, the directions on the bottle will tell you, wet down your roof, we're using our hose, we're gonna wet it down. We're starting from the back to the front because we're gonna start cleaning in the front first, so we end up at the ladder. So we just go right down from there, and then it's gonna dry. So let's start right here, rinse the awnings and the roof off, then we'll get up front. By the time we end up front, we can uh, get the cleaning going. All right guys, now that we got, we made it to the front of the RV, it's all rinsed off wet. We're gonna start and do a four foot by four foot section. So pretty much half of this, four foot this way. Use our brush, we're gonna spray the solution on, brush it really good, rinse it off, go to the next section. Work our way all the way back to the ladder and let it dry. Depending on the severity of your roof, you might get some chalky white residue that comes off. It'll go down the side of your RV. So you might have to clean your RV on the outside too, but uh, it's really not that hard, especially when you have that brush. So. Let's get started on this corner first. We're gonna wet it once more, just to make sure it's good and wet. You can see guys, we're just spraying it directly on our, uh, our roof in this four foot by four foot section. Get a good amount on there. That's why we put it in the squirt bottle. You can put it in like a little garden sprayer if you want. Something that comes out a little faster. It's up to you. This way we can monitor what comes out. So you get that on there like that. You get your soft bristle brush. 
and just go at it. You can see the difference already, guys. Look how, see how clean that does? That's why I told you I like that kind. It works really well on the roof. It gets it really clean, does a good job. Remember, only a four foot by four foot section, so you're doing like half of the roof. You want that soft bristle brush, you don't wanna hurt your rubber roof. You'll see some stains that are on there. That might be from another time or something, but you don't have to worry about those too much. You wanna get the bulk of the stuff off so you can put your treatment on. There we go, that's half. Now we're just gonna rinse off this half. Look at the difference there, guys. It's like a day and night difference, so. Looks good, we're just gonna continue that all the way to the back of the RV, let it dry, then we can come up here and do our RV protectant. So let's knock this out and we can go to the next step. guys we are done walking the roof as you can see the front's all nice and white as you come back where you're under the tree it's a little more stained it would take a little more elbow grease than I'm willing to put in right now but you get down there with the bristle brush do circle motions it'll lighten those up really good the more you do it the better it'll get but uh, we're gonna get down get a drink we're gonna let this thing dry off and then we'll come up here and put the uh, UV protected on here and show you how that goes okay guys we're on step three of this process what we're gonna do like I said, you can get on your hands and knees, spray it, and then wipe it. It is an option, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie our microfiber to our brush. It's okay if your brush is a little wet because you're gonna really saturate it anyway. So make sure your microfiber is big enough. You put it over that like that, flip it over. You should have enough to get a tie on it on each end, like so. Just enough to hold it on there so you can apply it standing up. I mean, if you got, you know, a teenager or something, you want to get up there and have them work, hands and knees is fine. But if you're a little older, you're, you know, being on your hands and knees hurts your back and your knees. So this is the best way. I do have a teenager, but uh, he's slightly afraid of heights. So. We're gonna do it this way. We like it. There we go. See guys, it's applied on there. Now we just spray that stuff all over the roof, start wiping. So let's get doing that. Okay guys, here it is, the final product all clean, treated with the 303. It didn't take long, especially when you had that brush. Uh, note is to make sure your gutters are cleaned out of water, otherwise when you try to do the edge, your, your uh, microfiber will suck up that water. I had to switch mine out a couple times. And I also cleaned the awnings once more while we were up here. They were already 303. The UV protectant was put on those a week ago. So now we're gonna get down uh, we're, well, the fourth step, sorry about that, the fourth step, like we mentioned, is to check all your seals around the edges here. Make sure they're all good. Ours are all, we inspect all ours, ours, all of ours. They're all good. Uh, we, we've only had this three months now, so the dealer did a lot of that. Uh, so we're good. We're going to get down now. That we're done up here. We're going to wash the side of the RV because all the stuff you rinsed off the roof went down to the side of your RV. So you're gonna have to give that a quick wash and then you'll be done and protected for at least, I don't know, I, me personally, I'm gonna do it every three months, but uh, 
they say you're good every four or five months. Depends on what, if you're under trees or what you're, if you're in direct sunlight, things like that. So that's all there is to it, guys. Let's get down here and clean the outside of this RV. Well, there you have it, guys. Another job successfully completed. You can rest assured that your roof is good for the next three to six months. It's really not that hard a job. Just set a few hours aside, you know, for if you run across any problems, want to stop for a drink or something if it's a hot day. But you'll thank yourself. It's like the single most important piece of maintenance you can do to your RV, especially with the rubber roofs. Our previous RV had an aluminum roof. We were still up there twice a year making sure everything was sealed around all the vents and stuff. This one here requires a little bit more, but it does have other benefits besides the metal roof ours. It's more quiet. You can walk on it easier, things like that. But other than that, it's all done. Gotta love it. So if you guys got the time, please, like we said, consider subscribing. Click that thumbs up. That helps us out. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video when we post it. And until next time, guys, enjoy the adventure.